Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see how chat GPT from OpenAPA helps in MuleSoft related questions. So for this one, I just uh, opened this chat openapa.com and uh, I just uh, did a sign up and then I just logged in. And after this, right, uh, I'm just going to ask some few questions related to MuleSoft here. Uh, for example, if you have a database coding and you wanted to write some function, and assume you have to remove some leading zero from your input. So how do you do it? So I'm just going to ask that question. Can you help to write a code to remove leading zeros in MuleSoft data wave? Okay, I didn't type properly the data wave. I didn't give the ending. Let's see uh, what the answer is coming. See here. And there are a few options. Uh, so basically here it's writing the code, simple line of code where it is replacing anything start with plus from the payload and it's trying to removing with the empty space. So which means it's basically removing only the leading zero, not the zero which is coming in the middle or end. So this way you can remove the leading zero and it's happening in the code itself in your data view. Similarly, I just wanted to write a function for it. How do I do it? Because I just wanted to call this leading zero function from many places. So how to write a function in for removing leading zeros in data wave. Okay, so this time I'm not giving MuleSoft, but still you see it's it will be able to get the answers which are relevant to data wave. So it's still searching. So if you see here, there's a dot dot dot. So and then if you go here, right? Yeah, it's already coming. The scroll bar is earlier up. See here, it's what it does now. It is writing a function called remove leading zero, and it is asking argument a string and then in that you know they are doing a replace so this way right if you want to remove a lead, leading zero from payload or payload dot item number or payload dot any specific field right you can pass that string value so that it can call the appropriate function where it has a written a coding here and it will give a output accordingly so this way right you can write any kind of a ask which you need it for data wave then uh, it can give an answer as well. So this way, you know, you can easily copy and uh, continue your coding. And similarly, I just wanted to ask some more question just to check this open GPT able to answer anything related to MuleSoft. So for example, now I have an object and I wanted to filter specific thing. Okay, so how to filter specific object from array. So this time I don't give data wave as well. Uh, let's see it's able to understand the question which i'm asking in a data wave because i just asked in the previously right as the question relevant to data wave and also mulesoft see here now the coding it started typing in data wave even though i didn't mention clearly i need it in the data wave okay so now here if you look at it um, what it is doing is it's applying a payload and filter and i'm passing item and then if item id equal to one two three then it is filtering that specific thing okay so here uh if I'm going to call, if I'm passing my item, right, then if there is anything item, item might have many fields, okay, so it's basically filtering only ID, which is equal to one, two, three, then it's try to filter it. So maybe, you know, I'll just ask, um, maybe we can ask some, uh, can you write function to order the array, okay. So basically I'm asking another question, uh, write a function to order the array. So I'll just uh, scroll down. So it started, it started typing it. And if you see here, it is having a function order array and it's taking an input. And then inside that it is using some sort function to order based on some field name. Because normally, right, we will give order by with field name because the array will have many fields and which field I want to order it. So maybe we need to pass the field name. Uh, so basically uh, here it is applied directly in the condition here, but you can pass that as well. So similarly, you can ask any questions related to data wave or mule soft so that it can give an answer for you. And let's see last question. So I am a beginner. I just wanted to understand some uh, interview question. So I'll just ask, can you provide me uh, mule soft interview questions so better i'll ask answer also so that you know i'll have an answer so that i can go through together as well so it's saying uh, what are the potential mules of interview questions and answer and what is mules of what does it do so similarly right it's writing a lot of question for you and it gives the answer so not only more generic even you know you can ask what is rtf and what is the rtf cluster 
how does it work and uh, what kind of things you can ask right uh, this open api will help you to get the relevant answer for you thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye Thank you.